install our theme and the necessary plugins, let's first explore some important aspects when running an online store. First ensure you have suitable web hosting. Running a store tends to use more resources than a simple brochure style website. There's more calls to the database, generally heavier traffic, and more resources that need to load. Ensure that your web hosting is suitable enough to handle this and keep a close eye on the resources that you're using to ensure that your customers are receiving a great experience every time they visit your store. To find out more about choosing a suitable web host, check out the dedicated lesson in our performance course. Closely related to web hosting, ensure that your website has an active SSL certificate. SSL stands for Secure Sockets Layer and this is absolutely essential for any online store as it helps to keep the connection between your data and your customers safe. Many web hosts provide these for free, but if yours doesn't, there are many options available, both free and premium. Consult your web host for more information about installing an SSL certificate. As well as making sure you have stable and secure web hosting and an active SSL certificate, there are a few more aspects which can be managed within WordPress to ensure additional strengthening of your store. Using a security plugin can be very beneficial and with a quick search in the WordPress repository, you will see that there are many free options available. Many of these provide malware scanning as well as many other features which will help to keep your website secure. Finally, it's a good idea to enable capture on your website. Google provides an excellent free service here called ReCapture. Malicious software is prevented from abusing the website using ReCapture. Legitimate users will be able to log in, conduct purchases, view pages, and create accounts, whilst fake users will be blocked. Moving on, this course will cover all aspects of creating an online store with Elementor and WooCommerce. However, to ensure that you're able to follow along with confidence, we recommend that you have at least a basic knowledge of Elementor and Elementor Pro. This includes using sections, columns, widgets, and basic knowledge of the theme builder. If you need to learn more about using Elementor, please refer to the links in the description. We'll be using the free lightweight Hello Elementor theme on our store. To install this, head over to the themes area and select the Add New button. Switch to the Popular tab and then install and activate the theme. As you can see, we are now prompted to install Elementor. Select the Install Elementor button and activate. Next, we'll install Elementor Pro. Log into your My Elementor account and then download the latest version of the plugin. Back into the WordPress dashboard now, let's upload the plugin. Select Activate and then we'll connect to our Elementor account. Building and running an online store can be a daunting task, but with the right preparation and planning, you'll lessen the risk of running into problems throughout the project. In our next lesson, we're gonna go through the entire WooCommerce installation process, configure many of the settings for our store, and also set up our taxes. <laughs>